Uh, here at the Grove, talking to the new Hales Owen Town Manager, Russ Penn. Uh, Russ, uh, welcome to the club and welcome to the gang. Um, so there you were, watching the Yelts on Saturday, watching a game of football, and here you are. Um, what's happened since then, then? Um, a lot of conversations, a um, couple of meetings, and... Um and a project going forward for the next couple of years. So, um, listen, first and foremost, absolutely delighted to be to be part of a club that means such a lot to me, my family. Um, you know, I'm a house owing, um I'm a house owing lad now. I've just moved about ten months ago to the area. So, um, listen, there's, there's there's lots to look forward to. Um, so you left Kitty, and you know, there's always a re always reactions to this. Oh, I don't want to watch any football ever again. Uh, presumably, you've gone back to watching football almost every week, anyway, have you? Well, it's my life at the end of the day. Um, I think I needed the rest. You know, I've I've, I've had seven, six, seven weeks off now. Um, time to reflect. Time to to think about certain things that were good, that were that were bad. But over the four years, um, I had a fantastic time at Kidderminster Harriers. We had a lot of success and. I really, really wish them all the best for the future. But um, my priorities are now fully with, with Alzo in town and a club that means a lot to me. And I think the ambition shown by the chairman uh, and the old manager, um, who's still part of the, of the football club, is, has excited me to, to, to be part of this project. Uh, only a trivial one, really. Um, when you were watching football in the meantime, did you find you could watch it as a fan or were you still watching it as though you were a manager? Uh, funnily enough, it was more enjoyable as a fan. Um, <laughs> Because you just stress, especially being in full time football, you you, yeah. you worry about it every day and, and 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 you know the planning of a football and on a, on a day to day basis. So look, I'm a big Wolves fan for my sins, and I went up there a couple of times and popped down here a couple of times. And listen, it was it was nice, it was relaxing, and um, it's nice to enjoy a game without the stress of it, really. Yeah. Um... Um, so, what are your observations about the current league? Because it's been a, uh, it seems to many of us, it's a, it's a good tough league when anybody can almost beat everybody. I think the pyramids just got better and better and harder and harder over the last uh, over the last decade. To be honest, I think um, you know there's a lot of local teams, a lot of derbies uh, within the, this southern league, and um, it's always excited me going to certain games. I've got a lot of friends who are managers of, of teams at this level, so um, under no illusions, it's got to be tough. Uh, but I've got 10 games now to kind of oversee the football club and the playing side and the staff side and and hopefully have an head start going in towards next season. Yeah, and what are some of your observations about the current team and the current setup? Observations are good so far. You know, I think we had a fantastic start to the season. Kind of lost the way a little bit mid-season and, and, and we are where we are now. But overall, if you look, if you look at it... Um, on reflection, you know, they had promoted last season and they're 10th they're at the moment in a new league. But as Howe's own, being one of the biggest clubs in the league, it's, you know, the expectation's high and um, that's what I've come here. I've come here to achieve and I won't really uh, accept anything less. Now, uh, short term, uh, what are the plans for that? As you say, 10 games to the end of the season, all still important ones and, and most of them still all winnable as well. Yeah, I just think, you know, I think we've won one game in seven now and I just want to get that little bit of buzz back um, within the football club leading into the, into the new campaign. Um, the good thing for me, motivational-wise for the players, it shouldn't need too much because, you know, they all want, I've, I've asked them how much do you want to be a part of the football club going forward, of this amazing football club, one of the biggest in the league, and it will be down to them if they do. So um, I'll give them all the tools. Um, from now to the end of the season to, to give themselves the best opportunity to, uh, to stay with me next year. Is that also one of the reasons why the, uh, the existing back, backroom staff are staying so you've got all that continuity? Oh, for sure. I'm going to lean on, uh, on, on Gary, Josh and Martin um, from now to the end of the season. Um, I need to educate myself on the league and, um, and the players and the team and the club itself, so I'll be silly not to. Um, and, and, and looking forward to the next eight weeks. I'm not saying it's a free hit because I want to win every single game yeah. uh, starting Saturday, but it's definitely um, time to, re, uh, to, to observe uh, every four corner of the, of the football club. And then, as you say, um, a really ambitious clubhouse, Owen Keith's got high ambitions as well. Uh, you've signed a long-term uh, contract as well, which is good. gives you a chance to put things in place uh, throughout the season and into next. Oh, for sure. Um, I think you know we are where we are now. Um, I'm happy with what we've got at the moment. Um, a bit short going into the, into the weekend, but you know we're always looking and engaging. But it's uh, it's a, it's an opportunity for every place to to start as we mean to go on. And then listen, the off season sorts itself out going into next year. But I'm going to give every every player an opportunity in this squad at the moment to to gain themselves something to go forward. Yeah. 
Uh, for those that didn't see you when you were managing at, at Kitty, uh, what sort of style of football do you, do you like and what can they expect soon once you've got your feet under the table? Well, I have three different squads because at the, at, in the non-league you, you, you tend to um, have an overall at the end of each year. Your, your good players get sold on, your, your, your poorer players get moved on. Um, you know, my first season there, you know, I'm not going to give my formations away, but no. we were very attacking and um, scored plenty of goals. I've always been solid, always been disciplined. And, and people say this year was probably a little bit too solid and too disciplined going into the new league, but... Listen, that's for them to consider. And I'm, I'm just looking forward. I think we've got a lot of attacking threat at this football club and um, more than enough to, to score plenty of goals. And uh, family connections with the Yelts, as I say, going back a, a long thing. Um, family must have been thrilled when you had the opportunity because uh, they've been fans for years or played as well. Yeah, well, listen, first and foremost, I'm there. You know, they're, they're my biggest fan. They'll go wherever I've, I've gone, as I have done throughout my playing career up and down the country. But being on the doorstep and the affiliation I've got with the football club, they were delighted. So, um, listen, I'm, I'm looking forward to the, the next couple of years now and I really want to sink my teeth into it now. Yeah. Uh, so, looking forward to Saturday against the team that changed their manager recently as well. So, it's a, a, a really good place to start, I suppose. Yeah, listen, unfortunately, I'm not going to get a home game for another four, I think it's five games' time. So yeah, um, You can't be wheeled out next week. Can no, you? no, no. So, uh, you know, I've got to... It's great education for me going to these grounds and seeing what's um, how they play, what the facilities are like, and um, knowing how we how we succeed next year. So, did first training on Tuesday night, another one tonight, and then then it's all systems go for Saturday. Yeah, correct. You know, we've got one midweek game uh, from now to the end of the season at Alf Church next week, and you know, I think um, I'm going to take every training session on the Tuesday and Thursday as serious as match days, and hopefully the players can uh, can follow me in that. A um, load of fans to support you already. Um, we need to thank Paul for his efforts as well, and it'll be good to see that he's still around too, won't it? Oh, yeah, for sure. And some, someone I'm going to lean on very much so uh, from now to the end of the season and the off season. Um, listen, I think you're getting two managers for the price of one, really, um, from now to the end of the year. But listen, there's, there's certain things and reasons why he's, he's moved upstairs, and I think that will be highlighted going further down the line. But Great bloke and was part of the uh, part of the process of bringing me in, so I'm very grateful. And uh, coming to a club with a really big fan base and some great atmosphere, which you experienced when you were sitting in the stands, just pretending not to get noticed. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, listen, I've, I've followed our zone a long time and really well supported. I, I want to make that support better and bigger, but by doing that, you need to get performances and results. So I totally understand that. And um, listen, I just hope everyone can enjoy the ride, back me as much as they can, back the players. And together as one, we'll, uh, we'll be better. Yeah, I'm sure they will. Do. Uh, I know you've got a lot to get through, and it's only, uh, what, 48 hours since you started. Uh, so good luck. Look forward to seeing how it rolls out throughout the, throughout the rest of the season. No, thank you. Really appreciate that. Thanks, Russ.